see how close the water is coming oh, 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 oh. this is the only place in south india where petrol is below 100 rupees hey hi how are you ela unnaru epdir king kaise ho this is me you rupesh welcome back to our channel if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing our channel has content related to travel lifestyle moto vlogging and many more so today is day 4 in goa if you missed my previous videos i am leaving i card above for goa series you can watch it so this will be the final day in goa i'll visit some places today and then uh, start back to bangalore the cottage you are seeing behind is a cottage which i am staying and i will show you the view behind so this is the view so i'm right in front of the sea so i'll going to miss these views from tomorrow and back to bangalore life so keep watching i'll get ready have breakfast and then start a small update before having breakfast and uh, moving out from the hotel hot shower is not working in this cottage so i call the manager is very friendly i'll show you while checking out he helped me and he arranged me another cottage in the same property so it's like 3 days all three proper all three cottages from this property so that is a premium cottage i'll show you how the premium cottage looks also now we'll go there have several they told breakfast will be arranged there on the same cottage this is my cottage and uh, the second one is a premium cottage i'm going there i'll show you so this is a premium cottage they say this grand cottage so same this also has a jacuzzi and next on the right side same the seating area and uh, the difference between luxury cottage and this grand cottage is the interior and uh, furniture will be very premium and jacuzzi massaging is also different like the jacuzzi machine is different ma ma this is freaking big actually compared to that cottage it's too big so they have this divan the room is very spacious too big and too spacious and that's the washroom area washroom and this is like some foreign country like south asian countries bali thailand see the flooring and this setup it's definitely like bali i know many people will ask me questions seeing this what is the price of this i don't know the price as i already told in the previous clip it's like hot shower was not working in my cottage so they provided me this the manager and the management is very friendly it's too beautiful i feel like i am in bali or thailand but i am in goa only with lights it's even lovelier as the name says grand this is definitely grand and super luxurious it's very good constructing a beach property like this it's breakfast time now breakfast with view but for the last day until i come goa next pretty much the same breakfast aloo paratha omelet eggs bread juice coffee and milk so let me have my breakfast The alu paratha is too good. You should try if you come here. Hello, people. He is the rupees. Hi. Who I told you, I'll. He is the manager. He helped me a lot, as I told already. Thank manager. you so much. It's pleasure to have him here. Yeah, even it was so wonderful uh, staying here. It Thank was you. so it's pleasant and it was like so smooth. I leave uh, rupees number here. If you want anything about Agonda Resort, like any help in Agonda, pleasure to have you guys. He'll definitely help you. Yeah. I'll be checking out. I'll speak to you from the car. I'm going to take the car for to that side to bring the luggage. So one last time, Agunda. Bye bye. It was a nice time here. We have started and it's raining a little bit. I will go to Gajibag Beach and show. If it is raining there, I don't know how can I show. The place is famous. Like Gajibag River will merge into the sea and the merging point will be too scenic. So I will go there and I'll try to show you. If it doesn't rain, but it is raining. And it's 15 kilometers from here. Let's see if it will not rain then. I parked my car there behind. It's still raining very heavily. The umbrella is here. I wanted to show you the beach uh, where the river meets the beach ocean. But uh, even there, water is heavy. We cannot travel to that last. land erosion also happened here you can see so the water tides are such heavy so it's not advisable to walk and cross that side to so see this is ekti bag beach 
the water is so close to the shore you can see the red flags over there so it is now not advisable to get down and go that is a problem coming to goa in monsoon june till october it's not advisable but because of my wife's birthday i want to come here and i came i decided to go and show you guys the river so i am walking on this corner not on the corner like in between these trees there is a path where we can watch go and watch the river much so i am going there people told it's beautiful there are two couples so they went and came they told me you can go and watch it so i am going here people always say tough paths lead to beautiful destination that is what is happening here now i'm just so uh, doing all this off roading not off roading i am doing all this walking and stuff the this is where the river is meeting the ocean so that's the bridge which i'll travel now see this is the river and that is merging into see there i'll go little front and that over there you can see this is galjibag beach and that is arabian sea this side it's river galjibag river and that's ns66 the bridge which i am going to travel now i'll shoot from above the bridge as well meanwhile you can watch this i wish i had a drone in my hands but since it is raining anyway even if we have drone we cannot fly but the view is too good there was a lifeguard sitting over there he told me i can go till there and some people are also sitting i'll meet you the exact point where the river meets the ocean so that's the river and this is the sea arabian sea so river meets the sea and this is all the water flow see this is a new view actually because this type of beaches are very rare everything is like destroyed because of the water and cyclone it's not cyclone it's raining but see it's completely damaged generally people there near those rocks they take photos but that is also immersed in water now so water level has increased as much that much and uh, because of monsoon everything is so close you can see complete land is destroyed so much of the land is taken away by the water this is the path you can see even here water flow is there till here all adventures so this is the way i got down and water is coming till here see how close the water is coming oh, 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 oh. <laughs> my feet is also touch with water water is coming to that level full of rain i don't know whether you can see in the camera or not but it's raining oh This is all the unexplored Goa. I'm doing it in monsoon, which is not the right time, but still it's okay. I think it's time to end this unexplored Goa and head back to the highway. So let's speak from the car. Anyway, I'll show you the bridge. Wait. One last time, watch the beach water from Bangalore to Patnam, Patnam to Palalam, Palalam to Agonda, Agonda to Kabodi Rama, Kabodi Rama to Agonda again, then Kola. then at last now in galjibag from galjibag next destination will be bangalore only <laughs> but i'll explore so the total distance was around 700 meters from the parking so we need to walk 700 meters to see where the river meets sea one thing i forgot to tell you is galjibag beach is famous for this turtle nesting so you can see turtle nesting site If you want, you can just pass the video and read over there. That is what turtle nesting is. So it's like hatching of eggs from the turtles or tortoises. You can pass the video and read over it. Nesting, respiration, metabolism. See the turtles over there. So this is the water which is going into the sea. I just came this side so that you guys can watch the water. I'm under 
the bridge now i'll get onto the bridge so that's the river and i have parked on the bridge side i'll show you where it meets the ocean so this is the place where it meets the sea you can see i walked till there <laughs> i walked till there and shot the previous clips from there so this is the bridge and that's the galji bag river so it is flowing under the bridge and then it's merging in the sea over there see how my polo is looking in rain damn lovely and the galji bag bridge and galji near the galji bag beach this is all nh66 it's raining too heavily i don't know how much time it will take for us i will not shoot more roads today because the first vlog was more of roads i'll show you the things which are interesting on the road i think there will be things definitely by the time i told it's raining heavily it definitely stopped i hope you guys are liking the view i know you already know there is a 12 pro with my family and with my wife now so <laughs> these shots are from the 12 pro the wide angles full cockpit of the car i just love this view from the car my phone was always capturing the normal angle it is cap this iphone 12 pro camera is too good it's capturing in wide ultra wide papa there is patnam beach park which i stayed on the first day so we are heading back that's the apartment that is where we stayed If you watch my previous videos, you already know. In the day one, I fill petrol full tank. On the day one, sorry. So this is the second fuel stop for the trip. I'll fill my tank here also, full tank only. The petrol price is 99 rupees. Probably this is the only place in South India where petrol is below 100 rupees. It's been so long. I saw petrol below 100. This is something good which I am experiencing in the Goa trip. We have filled around 41 liters. It's 40.3 fuel liters, and it's 4,001 rupees. Second 4,000 petrol in the car, and the rain downpour also has increased. So I'm just waiting here for maybe a couple of minutes. border i didn't shoot i think uh, just, there is just small clip they are checking the rt pcr report and vaccination certificate but they were telling like if you came from goa we need vaccination certificate i while going if you saw my old video while going i asked them so better stop here ask them and go because while coming back they will definitely ask you rt pcr certificate for money not for uh, checking your covid status and stuff but for uh, money they will stop you so <laughs> better be careful i told them i asked and i showed the person who i who i spoke to that day he was fine so they did, just took the entry of uh, this vaccination certificate some batch number etc and they left me so somehow successfully i entered karnataka but it's not over till i reach home wait somewhere some police will definitely stop There is no rule that we need RT PCR to roam inside the state, but they will definitely ask money. Let's see. Last time also they asked money. <laughs> I shot it and I posted it. So better if you missed any video, please watch complete series so that you know what what was going the previous days because I keep telling something happened. So we crossed Karnataka border. You already saw after Karnataka border, like immediately just near we found out this uh, Karwar beach. People are also there. I'm not going to go into people because of covid but just i'm going to visit this place because it will be good i guess because there are so many people on a weekday today is tuesday and afternoon but still there are people so we will we'll visit the beach there is nothing big in this beach but the locals are playing and there on the hill you can see the fog it's not fog i guess like cloud weather cloudy weather from the rain
and i guess this place is famous for live fishing their fishing is completed and people are selling fish if you saw my last video you already know we went for eagle feeding in palalam beach here also you can see seagull is rest roaming around and even eagles there are so many eagles roaming around here so that's the rabindranath tagore tree shore it's written rabindranath tagore karla tira in kannada karwar we just played for some time and we are heading back now they are constructing a tunnel here it is still uh, not open but it's beautiful like i can see from inside it's close but it's too beautiful next to the karwar beach in case if it completes maybe in my next trips or future i'll show you and there i'll leave you link of this video this, yeah this is also beach on not beach full of sea